The Average Camper's Adventures. Welcome back to The Average Camper's Adventures. On this episode, we are going to install a battery tender for our house batteries. We are not in the motorhome um, all the time, so there is a period of time which we're storing the motorhome, especially during the winter months when it's uh, not as easy to get out in Florida to go camping because of how busy it gets. So what we're going to do is install a battery tender. For the four house batteries, it's a solar power um, battery tender. It gives about 10 watts and what it's going to do is keep those batteries topped off while Willow is in storage. So let me show you what we got. Okay, like I said, this is a um, 10 watt battery tender that hooks up directly to the um, to the battery bank via uh, alligator clips. All of our batteries are right um, underneath the step. We have Willow facing north and south and so um, we're going to try to decide whether to put the solar panel on um, the east side uh, of the uh, RV or just in the front window to capture as much as we can throughout the whole day. And Rob is now unscrewing the step area to access those batteries. We already have a uh, solar connection hooked up, so I may I may be able to use the existing wire that we have, which is here, which runs to our solar controller here. We had done that quite a long time ago. North Carolina. Yeah, in North Carolina because we were at a campground that didn't have hookups. And our neighbors didn't like the generator. Yeah. So we hooked up solar to be able to do that. But you yeah, can see that's how our refrigerator runs. Here's our four house batteries, and I have the wires hooked up to the negative and the positive here. Here's the positive side, here's the negative side. And all we have to do is either hook it up the same way with the wire that comes with the battery tender, or I can plug it right into here. It's probably better. So I'll have to look and see to make sure we have the polarities right before I do it. It's <laughs> good. The panel itself is not too huge. No. Which is nice. About the size of our table. So that's the solar panel. And here's our connector and like I said, the connector that I already had there used this style. Just a simple two prong connector Whoa. here. Whoa, there it comes. Uh, just a simple two prong connector. And I already have one in place. That's nice. But it comes with an additional comes with an additional alligator clip. And uh, I may end up using just this because it also has a fuse built into it. Just in case. So I may just use this and hook it up. Yeah, which is what I may do. Thing's heavy. It, this, the, the, uh, that is heavy. Oh, sweet. So 
we can use that solar panel for something else later, right? Absolutely. Or like if we're off hiking and we take Willow somewhere. Absolutely. Or we take, you know, we leave we leave Willow. So because the screen is here, it'll filter out that light that we're needing versus the glass pane, which will allow it to charge the solar? Yeah. Yeah, you want it with as little restriction as possible and the screen will kind of reduce the solar energy of the sun getting to the solar panel. So. Okie dokie. I need to get an extension. Oh, look at those fancy things. Are they for solar? Yeah, it, it's um, it's the right gauge. But I was just looking to make enough of these that will give us an extension. Is that safe? Yes. It's not like having 50 extension cords, Clark, no. Clark Griswold? <laughs> no, so I think this will give us enough extension. Of course, I'd love for this to be just one piece, and I think I have one somewhere. just can't find it. <laughs> Do you lose power by having connector to connector to connector? No. No? Not really that much. Um, of course, the longer your, your cord. cord is, you know, the harder it is to push the uh, power to the batteries, but in this case we're not talking about a lot difference. At and least then, not for what we're needing them for. And then I have these which I thought maybe will do the trick. Why not? These are little suction cup guys. Oh. That might keep it up in the window. So I have to put these suction cups just above it and, and connect it. So what do you think you have there? Something that may or may not work. But this is a little bungee. Maybe oh, it, cute. The, it's like from a backpack. Yeah, so I'm going to try to undo it like this. And then I'm going to try to hook it around like that. You can probably just tie it and tie it around the other thing. Yeah. Who's brilliant? You are. Brilliant. All right, one. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, I got these guys, which are supposed to twist create the suction. I did not get you licking that. Sorry. Get a little bit of spit on there. Okay, so uh, just temporary, but we have a way to mount it here. Um, it's probably, probably going to get some interference one way or the other, but um, this will give us uh, 10 watts to go into the batteries and keep it topped off uh, or at least keep it from uh, draining when she's sitting idle. Alright, thank you for watching. Join us next time on The Average Camper's Adventures.